My name is Steve. Welcome to my shop. And this is video number two of my Back to Basics series. This series is on machine shop basic skills. Today we're going to cover calibrating a precision level. So join me over at my Metrology bench and we'll get started. I'm going to be calibrating my Starrett number 98 6 inch precision level. Each increment in, on the level is equal to five thousandths over one foot. I'm going to be setting it up on my granite surface plate. The surface plate is close to level but it's not exactly level. But there is a position on it that is level and by using this 234 block as a fence I'll be able to find that position where the surface plate is truly level. The other thing that I did was I intentionally adjusted it so that it wasn't level so that we could go ahead and bring it in and calibrate it. I'll be using this little 3 8 they're referred to as ignition wrenches. The adjustment on it, let's take and bring you in a little bit closer so you can see the adjustment. It's adjusted by moving these two nuts. Now the it's so sensitive that just by merely loosening and the nut and then snugging the top nut will move it. So we'll go ahead and get started. The bubble right now is up its two marks past the reference line. It's right up here. The reference line is there. It's one, two marks above the reference line. Now I'm going to flip it end for end. Let it settle in. And I'm just about the same, a little bit over two marks. I'm going to just change the angle of this a little bit so that I can See, as I change the angle of the block, the bubble is moving. So I'm just over the second line now from the reference. Back here, I'll show you. Let it settle in. About, as it settles in, it's just about the same place. So I know that the adjustment end on my level is too high because the bubble goes to the high side. So what I'm going to do now is take my wrenches and I'm going to loosen the lower nut Tighten the top nut just a little bit. Now you'll see that I've got it down to one line above the reference line. Let's turn it around. As it settles in, I'm just a little bit over the one line. So I'm going to adjust my, my block again to get a little bit closer. I'm splitting the difference each time. So now I'm just the width of the line over. I 
as this settles in I'm just about the same position so what I know now is that the position of the level on my surface plate the that surface plate is level in that orientation so now I'm going to make another minor adjustment just loosen that just a little bit tighten the top I'm going to bring it down to the to the reference line on the level just loosening up the bottom just a tiny bit and tightening the top I'll let it settle in and you can see that I'm just a little bit over the reference line on that side I'm under the reference line on this side let me flip it around again let it settle in in this direction I'm about the same same proportions as I would was in the other direction so I know that I'm I'm still level on the that the surface plate is still level in that position I still gotta go down with the bottom nut a little bit I'm still high on this end Gotta break that loose. Okay. Okay, right now in this direction it is perfectly centered. I'm gonna bring my the camera around so you get a little bit better shot of that. Okay, so it's just about perfectly centered. It's off to the left just a tiny bit let's turn it around end for end again and see where we're at it settles in and that is just about perfect there let's turn it around again It settles in and there we go that's as close as I'm going to get it and that is how you go about self-proving a precision level well thank you for joining me on this back to basics video on calibrating a precision level I hope you've learned something if you want to see more of these types of videos, please leave a comment. I appreciate your likes, your comments, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.